at odds with the insidious rhinos, radical Dems, corporate America, big tech, and the deep state who have tried to overthrow. Holy shit. So let, let's get his enemy list down. The Democrats, Antifa, BLM, just the, the, the left in general, um, the deep state, the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA, the Pentagon, his generals are against them. Dr. Fauci's against them. the CDC, the FCC, the, the, uh, <laughs> The DHS, the um, the uh, the 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 fucking urban development. <laughs> the House is against them. The Senate is against them. The the governors are against them. It's like, man, it 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 really sounds like you should probably shouldn't be president no more because it doesn't seem like anybody likes you, huh? I don't know what to say to these people. My patience for like this whole, you know, election fraud, conspiracy theory, there's like 9 billion illegal votes floating around, uh, the, 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 the ghost of Hugo Chavez fucking, um, uh, possessed voting machines from dominion who are made by Satanists. And I like, I am so over this shit. That being said. I don't know what to do for the Trump supporters anymore because it was funny for a while, but now it's gotten to the point where it's like all of their, 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 their bastions of truth, all of their, their, their warriors against the deep state and, and the swamp and, and, and the extreme radical left and the socialists and all that, like they've all kind of turned on them and like, I don't, I don't know what to do for them now because like, it's, it's over, over, you know, like over, over, over when the head of the DOJ don't even have your back. Like it's, it's, it's done. So today Bill Barr was talking and he pretty much let the cat out of the bag like it's over it's done there's there's no uh, evidence of of um, um election fraud like i we, we can't do nothing we we got nothing and they immediately jumped on his ass and just the right just started molding like insta molding i mean some of them are already trying to twist it tim pool's already doing his shit trying to uh Oh yeah. Oh, they're totally going to go full flash. Um, they, they, they've been trying to twist it like, Oh, well, well he says there's no evidence of election fraud, but basically admitted that there was fraud. What, what does that mean? Tim, like if there was something to investigate, they would investigate it. Do you really think that they would let any thread go that they could grab onto at this point? Come on now. So we're going to watch the, um, Fox News talk about it in general, and then we're gonna go and watch Lou Dobbs just lose his fucking mind about this shit. It is, ugh, it is gold. You don't even understand. Justice Department Attorney gold. General William Barr telling the Associated Press that the Justice Department has not uncovered widespread voting fraud that could have changed the 2020 election outcome. So, uh, let's get Chief White House Correspondent John Roberts. Live on the North Lawn with that news just breaking in the middle of that panel. Let's go to you. Have you had a moment to digest what he, the Attorney General just said? I've had about 12 and a half seconds, right. but I think it's enough to sort of get the gist of it. And, and I think, Dana, as you and I were chatting earlier, this is bound to be something that is not going to make the big man in the White House behind me uh, very happy. The Attorney General. They're like, hey, 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 take that fucking ear pod out of your fucking ear. We're not paying them for this shit an interview with uh, the Associated Press in which he said that looking at all of the complaints that have been coming in to the DOJ and a lot of them forwarded up by the Trump campaign that they have not found fraud uh, on the scale that would overturn the election. Now reading into that you, you might add the word yet in into the No. No. No one is or would do that. No. No, no, no. Also, they're the one thing that they do have to kind of like 
you know, fucking like, oh, this is it. Like, this is, it was, uh, it was, it was a clue is we have not found evidence of widespread election fraud. So they're going to be like, oh, so there is fraud, but not enough to overturn the results of the election. But how much fraud? Like, they don't, like, they have to have something. Like, like, because when this is all over, like, they're going to walk away from this going like, we were right that this election was fraudulent. Even though every election has some degree of fraud. Not enough to matter, but it's like, come on, like, we've always known this. Like, it's, like, what, what do we think come election season people suddenly just stop being shitty people and stop trying to cheat? Of course not. So I guess they can have that one nugget to hold on to into the grave, I guess, but they're always going to say this was a fraudulent election. <laughs> oh, bless me. They're always going to say it was a fraudulent election no matter what we do. So it is what it is, but at least we can always go back and point to shit like this. To that because the Trump campaign does continue uh, to try to probe uh, the depths of uh, potential irregularities in many states, including Wisconsin and Georgia. But so far, the attorney general saying to the Associated Press that they have not uncovered uh, this on a level that would overturn the election. Now, we all remember back to the 2000 uh, election campaign because that was the one that was uh, so bitterly fought in uh, the days following the November election. That was a margin of 537 votes, and already enough votes were found in Georgia to have overturned the outcome of the 2000 election three times over. But here, you know, in, in Wisconsin, we're talking about 20,000 votes. In Georgia, we're talking about 12,000 votes, tens of thousands of votes in, in other states, uh, a, a fairly close margin in Arizona, but still far more than 537 votes. And in even given what has been presented to the Justice Department thus far, you might be able to overturn a few hundred votes here or there, but not tens of thousands of votes or something between 10 and 20. Collusion between Trump and Turkey confirmed. Holy shit. Thousand votes. The Trump campaign insists that if it could win the lawsuits that it's got out there, which would throw out wholesale lots of mail-in ballots that you could potentially uh, overturn the outcome of the election. But, but I, you know, I, I don't want to. And honestly, all of this has just really frightened me just how nonchalantly now we're just tossing around the idea of just like, you know, overturning election results. We, we just like, like, like Bush v. Gore, like broke democracy in this country. I swear to God, like that, that, that ruling broke the fucking like wheels the gears just like stop turning correctly like the timing was off say that i can read the president's mind but i think it's probably pretty clear that if his attorney general is saying that they haven't seen fraud in a level that would overturn the election that's probably something that wouldn't sit well with the president who believes that there was wide scale fraud wide scale voting irregularity and more than enough to overturn the election. So I, I can imagine there might be a bit of a difference of opinion yeah. when it comes to that particular topic, Dean. Wasn't it just, uh, I'm, make sure I have my days right, I think it was over the weekend that the president tweeted about um, the Justice Department and the FBI um, over saying, the weekend? where are you, yeah. Yeah, saying basically that they're missing in action. Well, they're no, they're no longer missing in action <laughs> yeah. because the Attorney General has spoken and I'm not particularly convinced that the president's going to like what the attorney general has to say. You don't say, you don't say, you don't say. Now, let's go over to Lou, see how he's taking things. Good evening, everybody. President Trump, his legal team, members of the Republican Party, making advances today in the battle for the White House. There have been significant developments in six key battleground states, all of which, all of which bolster President Trump's charge that there has been clear electoral fraud, fraud that nullified the will of the people. In really? So then why is he letting Biden transition? Why has he lost? Why has he not only his administration, but other individuals who have claimed voter fraud not affiliated with Trump also lost all of their suits? 
or had them thrown out or withdrew them altogether. Hmm? In the November election. I know, right? Look, Trump, fucking Antifa confirmed. <laughs> the president's progress puts him at odds with the insidious rhinos, radical Dems, corporate America, big tech, and the deep state who have tried to overthrow. Holy shit. So let, let's get his enemy list down. The Democrats, Antifa, BLM, just the, the, the left in general, um, the deep state, the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA, the Pentagon, his generals are against them. Dr. Fauci's against them. the CDC, the FCC, the, the, uh, <laughs> the DHS, the, um, the, uh, the 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 fucking urban development <laughs> the house is against them the senate is against them the the governors are against them it's like man it 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 really sounds like you should probably shouldn't be president no more because it doesn't seem like anybody likes you huh throw his presidency for more than for the swamp is against them. The non-swamp is against them. His blazer is against them. The length of that tie is against him. Years. Today, a member of his own cabinet appeared to join in with the radical Dems and the deep state and the resistance. Attorney General. The resistance is against them. The squad is against them. General William Barr. The fake news media is against them. Fox is against them who has been absent for weeks and weeks, telling the Associated Press that the U.S. attorneys and FBI agents who have followed up on complaints of specific voter fraud across Jesus, the country have produced nothing. To date, we have not seen fraud on a scale, he said, that could have affected a different outcome in the election. For the Attorney General of the United States to make that statement... He is either a liar or a fool or both. He may be uh, perhaps compromised. He may be simply unprincipled. Or he may be personally distraught or ill. But in no way can... He got the Rona? Is he suggesting... Is he suggesting that Bill Barr has coronavirus and he said this in a feverish uh, 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 hallucination state? Is that it? Where's the message from Q? Look at the infographics. There's a message somewhere here. Uh, uh, something about oil. Um, uh, DJ Trans. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, we got DJ, uh, Lou Dobbs. Um, that's, uh, eight, eight, eight letters. Um, 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 if you uh, multiply that by DJ and the square root of this screen, then you could see that star correlates to the star of David, which... <laughs> Uh, and he honest it, it, it it's like how quickly they turn on their own people is fucking wild man they was sucking bill barr's dick to completion months ago in the moment he didn't fucking go down in flames with Trump. And I mean, with just a couple of weeks ago, he was still riding the old oh, Trump might still be able to turn this around train. And the moment he was like, yeah, man, you know, this ain't it, chief. He's a liar and a fool. Uh, um, um, he's compromised. He, he, he might be ill. He's a part of the deep state. It's fucking wild, man. Actually, <laughs> stand up before the American people and say that the FBI has, with any integrity or intensity, investigated voter fraud in mm. this country and then say it did not amount to anything. Because what we are hearing just from the eyewitnesses in state legislative hearings, forget all of the rest. Wait. Wait, wait, what did he just forget all the, so, so we're supposed to just take the word of just some randos who just say they saw some election fraud based off no evidence. It went to court. I mean, they withdrew their cases or it was thrown out altogether. Like what? 
but because they said so? Lou, fuck, man, y'all ain't even trying. They really did cash all these chips in on Trump. Like, they, they went so hard for him that they have nothing. Like, they, they couldn't even have, like, a a backup plan. They had no kind of plan B for if shit went sour and it didn't work out. It was just like, whatever he says, we're just going to keep parroting that shit. And if he just won't concede, then we'll just keep not conceding either. And just keep saying it was fraud. I, 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 that's all I got. I don't know. Every case has been thrown out. Fuck. Um, just just say we just believe the witness testimony and just ignore all the fucking court proceedings and shit that all none of that's important those eyewitnesses in state legislative <laughs> hearings across the country tell the truth and it's a story of election fraud what 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 how is that the truth is a story of election fraud when all of these contested states pretty much i think at this point every single one has certified their vote right there might be still a couple hanger ons out there but I, 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 i'm not sure just because someone says that they don't like what's happening doesn't make anything any different like what odd elections rigged to deny the will of the majority in this country and we will be taking mm. that up here tonight at the just to watch these people just cling to because there there is a shift happening as 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 much as some people on the left like to try and pretend that there's not there is a cultural and political shift in this country happening and the historically entrenched people in power see that as a threat to them and I mean, to, you know, all intents and purposes, it is. It's 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 meant to be not a threat of violence or anything like that, but a threat to their economic and political power. And they have to keep pretending that they are the majority when they've always been the minority. It's just that the majority is shifting in a different direction and they are desperately trying to cling on to that. So everything has to be so essential. Like your entire world is about to be torn down. If we don't let Trump win this election, if we don't just fucking usurp democracy, if we don't just shit on the constitution and light it on fire, then your very soul will be sucked out of your asshole until your fucking eyeballs suck into your skull and you are a, 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 a hollow husk of what you used to be. Like, they... It is desperation to, like, the extreme. That's why people, like, um... What was his face? Uh, hey, Joshua. What was what was his name? Uh, uh, the 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 commentator that was on. Um, um, he was one that 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 compared like Bernie's campaign to the fucking Nazis and shit. Um, fuck, what was his name? He was talking about oh, if if, if Bernie wins, they're gonna fucking hang him in Central Park and all that crazy shit. Oh, fuck, what was his name? Like, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, because, and then he stepped down, too, because of some, like, sexual harassment shit. Ah, uh, what, what the fuck was his name? That anchor. Uh, Kavanaugh, no, no. Chris Matthew, thank you, Joshua. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. This this shit is this is deranged. Like people like him, like this generation, like like these old fucks who who have made millions just spewing fucking capitalist propaganda and and just maintaining the fucking. Uh, 
like white supremacy hierarchy we have in this country I, I have like own. lost a fucking mind when they thought that bernie might be the fucking nominee and these same people are losing their fucking minds because they're afraid of what will happen now that trump isn't going to be president anymore I, I have my own views of the word socialist, and I'll be glad to tell them, share them with you in private. And they go back to uh, the early 1950s. I have an attitude about them. I remember the Cold War. I have an attitude towards Castro. I believe if Castro and the, and the, and the Reds had won the Cold War, there would have been executions in Central Park, and I might have been one of the ones getting executed. And certain other people would be there cheering, okay? So I have a problem with people who took the other side. I don't know who Bernie Ch Bernie supports over these years. I don't know what he means by social. One week it's Denmark. We're going to be like Denmark. Okay, that's harmless. That's, a, that's basically a capitalist country with a lot of good social welfare programs. Denmark is harmless. It's pretty clearly in the Denmark is he? category. Yeah. Are you sure? How do you know? Did he tell you that? Well, I mean, that's what he says, and that's what his agenda calls for, right? Yeah, yeah, He's not uh, calling yeah, for well, any. Let's see. I mean, let's see. Let's figure that one out. A, well, we haven't seen a, a campaign yet. Jesus Christ, man. He uh, man, like like the very idea of 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 his fucking lifestyle being affected in any way, shape, or form was like terrifying to him. Like he had a fucking meltdown. Like, and this is exactly what fucking Lou Dobbs is doing. Like, like, like these old fucking dinosaurs are like this is like cl pearl clutching on a whole other level. This ain't even fucking copium no more. This is like just existential dread and biden is not even really a threat to them and they're still flipping they shit like bernie was much more of a threat to them in their way of life than biden ever will be and they're still freaking the fuck out greasy as fuck right Yep, that's true. That's true, Cat. They have poisoned a lot of young minds. That is true. That is true. Wait, where was that? Where was that fucking um where was that tweet that I liked? Where was it? This fucking true. True. Everything about this. True. Holy shit. Underrated tweet, fuck. All right. 